Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vivian. I'm so happy that you are here. If this is your first time, hello and welcome. And if you are back, yay! Thank you, thank you so much. I know that I say that every single time, but seriously, I just hope that you know how appreciative I am that you are back and watching. Uh, and again, if you're new, thank you so much for clicking and watching. Um, okay, so today's video is how I style my black leather leggings. Um, in a previous video, my Valentine's Day lookbook, uh, I mentioned that if you don't have a pair that I really recommend you to get one. They're just so amazing um, and versatile for fall, winter, and kind of transitioning to, into spring. Spring. I know we're about to start getting warmer weather, but before that happens, I think we still have a couple cold nights ahead of us and cold days. So um, I hope that this video is helpful and for the time being, and um, it's going to be up here so you can always check back whenever, maybe, I don't know, maybe you're going to a cold destination or something, whatever it is. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Before starting, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And then at the end, of course, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Oh, before we actually Actually, before I have a new little setup, so I just want to say, ta-da! Okay, let's go ahead, let's get started. So excited. Okay, so for this outfit, I chose to do something really fun, cute, flirty that you could really wear uh, for a girls' night out or a date night with your boo, whoever that may be. Uh, but really, this outfit is very classy while still being sexy. The neckline is something that drew me in when I saw it. And here you can see I'm adding my gold tubes that I literally wear with absolutely everything. The sleeves, though, are really fun, loose, as you can see, and they kind of cinch at the wrist, which makes it... I don't know, just gives it a little nice and dainty look. Um, and I paired my Steve Madden heels that I really, they are classic, so make sure you get those in your closet too, but they just help elongate the look. And yeah, it's just a fun, flirty, cute look that you could just throw on, feel confident in, and get your night started. <laughs> All right, so this next look is definitely an edgier one, uh, but that's what I love so much about these leather leggings is that you could dress it up, dress it down, edgy, bold, cute. For this one, I put a graphic tee and I knotted it in the front. I could show you guys how to do that on Instagram. And I just added it underneath a plaid blazer that I have been, ha I've had in my closet for so long now. Um, oh my God, look at that pose. <laughs> but yeah, this outfit just makes you feel strong and bold and I added my gold hoops with it. So it just makes it really fun. And the Steve Madden heels that I wore previously. Here I'm tucking it in. That's one way to wear it, but honestly I prefer it to be tied in a little knot. As you can see, you can kind of see the shirt underneath. Kind of, actually, you can see it a lot. So I'd wear it definitely tied, but yeah. <laughs> So continuing on with the edgy look, I paired this one with my Dr. Martens. As you can see, I'm wearing the platform Jaden ones. My experience has been great with them, super comfortable. Uh, but regardless, this outfit is just fun and relaxed. An oversized denim jacket that I got from Princess Polly. And I just put a, a zip up sweater, uh, sorry, sweatshirt that I got from H&M several years ago. Um, just super basic and I'm, as you can see, I'm re-wearing graphic tee. I love a denim jacket. I, you will always see me probably once a week in a denim jacket. So this this outfit is great to just throw on, don't even think about it, and go. This outfit is definitely a mix of classic meets edgy. Uh, the long coat definitely gives it that classic feel, which I love sometimes, and it definitely keeps you a little bit warmer than you know something that's cropped. So I'm re-wearing the graphic tee, re-wearing the zip-up sweatshirt, and the coat is from Abercrombie. I got it at the very beginning of the season, probably in October or November, and it's just been such a great staple to have in your closet, so I also recommend having that if you don't. So this outfit is extremely minimal, very classic. I still have my Dr. Martens on to give me some height and a little bit of edge, but really, if you don't have a gray sweater in your closet, I really, really, really recommend you to get one. This one was from PacSun, extremely affordable, and I honestly wore it almost every single day. And I can still wear it in the summer uh, because it is pretty lightweight. Um, so you can wear it with white shorts or jean shorts. And actually for this look, I switched it up about two times. So as you can see, I was putting on my sneakers and now my long coat that I wore previously. It just makes for a super simple outfit. Um, very city chic. Those are my Adida Falcons. I absolutely love them. They go with everything. I've worn them non-stop and then I added my beanie because you know keep your head a little warm um, and then I actually switched it up another time and this time I added my snakeskin booties that I've worn also non-stop the whole entire fall winter season. They were from Lulu's and man were they amazing. I seriously got so much use out of them. 
So this outfit is definitely a very classic one, all leather um, and all black. So the jacket actually is a hand-me-down from a friend, but I have a very similar one length from Urban Outfitters, and I just put a black t-shirt underneath, and uh, again, the Dr. Martens, but I actually went ahead and I showed you guys that you can wear the Steve Madden shoes, the heels that I wore previously, and give it a fun date night look if you'd like. All right, guys, that is it for today. Remy joined me. He was just walking, so I picked him up. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this little video. I hope that you have new outfit inspo. And yeah, what do you think, Rem? He's wagging his tail. He's happy. He likes it. All right, guys, go ahead. Leave me your comments below what you thought. Oh, he wants to go. Um, what you thought. And go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And hit that notification bell so that anytime I post, you are notified. Um, yeah. All right. I'll look out for your comments. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.